Hello, boys and girls. I'm coming to you today from the kitchen at my house. I thought you might be wondering where Ophelia and Jeremy and all of our friends are spending their days, so I'm gonna show you. You know, the uh, drawer in my classroom is just too lonely these days, so they decided that they would come and uh, take up residence in this really big drawer in my kitchen. Super big. Oh, I see them in there right now. Tell you what, Meg, can you help us get our friend Ophelia ready to come out and play? Boys and girls, you can sing the song too. Ready? Ophelia, come out and play. Here she comes, all the way down in the depths of the drawer. Oh, I think she's happy to see you. Make sure you give her a little wave, boys and girls, from your, from your computer screen at home. Well, Ophelia, what? What have you got on your beak? A few crumbs? Oh, you were having a little midnight snack. Well, who can blame you? Everybody's eating snacks all the time right now, apparently. Tell you what, can you help us get our voices ready to sing? All right, Meg's gonna show you what to do, boys and girls. Here we go. She wants to give you five. Oh, very nice. Nice job. Oh, always a good idea. Go ahead and use that sanitizer. Fantastic. All right, well, the good news is that Jeremy is ready to see us too. And in fact, he's been waiting all day because I told him about a special snack. Uh, his favorite snack, as a matter of fact, that Marilee baked for us this week. We had a big can of pumpkin in the pantry, so she made us a pumpkin pie. And pie is Jeremy's favorite snack. So he's ready to come out and get his piece. Now, one thing you might not know if you've never met Jeremy is that he always uses his singing voice. And in fact, he can only understand me or you if we use our singing voice too. Okay. Good afternoon, Jeremy. Good afternoon, Mrs. Parker. Do you have my special snack? Well, yes, I do. Meg, why don't you do the honors? It's your favorite pumpkin pie. Let's see. Oh no, something happened to the pie. What could it be? Someone ate it? Do you think that someone ate it? Well, I did see Ophelia with some crumbs on her beak. And come to think of it, last night, I was up late waiting for a spot to open for Walmart pickup, and I saw her sneaking in the kitchen. Oh, I'm sorry, Jeremy, but I'm afraid there's no more pie. Oh, no, this is terrible. Tell you what, do you think maybe he'll feel better if he can sing about it? And it always helps me. Tell you what, Meg, will you be his echo? All right, boys and girls, you be Jeremy's echo, too. Are you ready? Well, 
it's not my fault I was triggered because Ophelia ate my pie. Tell you what, Jeremy, here's a little deal for you. I have apple pie on this week's meal plan. We'll catch you later. I guess I can deal with that. He's going back to the drawer. You know, boys and girls, maybe you might have had a rough day too. It's okay to talk about that. In fact, you might even want to sing about it, but here's my challenge. If you're going to complain, just make sure that all your phrases rhyme at the end. For example, let's see. Um, I'm stuck in my house, just like a little mouse, or whatever. I'll see you tomorrow.